got it here. And the winner of the 2018 Imagine Cup World Championship is from Canada, Smart I, I was up there like I, I didn't even know what to feel. I was like sort of, sort of trembling um, inconspicuously. Uh, honestly, at, at that point, what, all that was sort of going through my head was, you know, we made it this far and just mm -hmm. being able to show everyone what we're doing and how far we've come is phenomenal. A big focus with developing this was ensuring that everything was as cost effective as possible. So the 3D printing, leveraging the computer vision, it all kind of made it more meaningful when we were able to know that we're going to be able to give access to so many people around the world with a cheap prosthetic that's actually functional rather than just a cosmetic arm especially like third world countries where a lot of ngos are are pooling money to kind of give them um, some sort of prosthetic but we'll be able to kind of give them a prosthetic that's actually functional through those ngos as well and so we're looking forward to that you make sure it's used the keys you get into place and you flex the muscle there we go and when you want to drop them, you just unflex, just like that. And we can also do this wine cup over here. So let's say we want to pick up the wine cup. You show it the cup, you get into position, flex, pick it up. And when you want to put it down, unflex, just like that. Are you guys ready? Smart arm, yes. you ready? You got three minutes to wow these guys. Your time begins now. It's too often the case that we take for granted those things in our lives that we are so used to possessing on the daily. If you just take, for instance, your hands and your arms, you don't often realize just how pervasive they are to your physical, everyday interactivity with the world. Now just try to take a moment to imagine what it would be like to be missing an arm or a hand and interact with the world. It's impossible to even imagine what that would be like. There are, what, 49 teams from uh, 33 countries just in the finals? I mean, that's just, uh, in some sense, really tells us that tech is widespread all around the world, and the ambition to do amazing things with technology uh, is increasingly being democratized. And that's what really is fantastic. Drugs safe will verify if your medicine is the usual problem that the hospitals and the pharmaceutical companies cannot upscale their operation. Fully to realize their solution at a low price. Furthermore, maybe um, as an extra opinion. However, since we can have inexperienced minds, mothers and experience. For the overall Imagine Cup World Championship winner, they will receive $50,000 in Azure credits, $85,000 in cash, a mentoring session with our CEO, Satya Nadella, along with several other engagements throughout the year as part of the Imagine Cup Award alumni. Today's student developers are tomorrow's innovators. So it's really important that we continue to help encourage the young people of today as to how they can think about solving tomorrow's problems and helping equip them with the tools and technologies they need to do so.